Hello, and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping. www.uniqueenvironments.com. <laughs> Uniqueinvolvement.com. Yeah. Wow. So, over here at the uh, Tustin site, looking at our Carapia job we put in this past summer, 22, 2022. And uh, after the rains we've had, we had a lot of rain, storms, and stuff, and just kind of checking things out seeing what's going on it's really nice and thick we have uh, a presence of a lot of different types of weeds grassy weeds that are coming up in here so we had to selectively get these things out of here but as it is right now it's fine the crappia is very prolific and very aggressive so eventually it will basically um, crowd out this these weeds so we'll selectively go through and kill these weeds that's, that's coming up in the crappia we have some bermuda grass that's coming in from what was here uh, originally. They had a Bermuda lawn. So there's areas here where it's Bermuda that's springing its head. So we'll have to address that. Looks like we had a couple areas of gopher damage here. So had to keep an eye on that. Uh, the other plant material stuff is looking, it's looking really good. With these rains that we had, how can you not look good? A lot of this stuff is California native and drought tolerant plant material. So after like about five months things are looking pretty good but with these rains you can't help but have a really beautiful landscape with the amount of rain that we've had in the past uh, two weeks almost three weeks it's been raining consistently each week this is actually the first weekend where we hadn't had a lot of uh, haven't had any rain the last couple weekends it's been drizzling and raining so it's a good thing today we're going to do some uh, fertilization some spring fertilization with uh, the Collagel Solutions um, Bloomplex to help bring in more blooms and blossoms to our plant material and also uh, some other materials that's going to help from the standpoint of the rooting. So I'm going to talk with the client, see what's happening, but so far so good. Stay tuned. Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com.